This is Jeff Eastman, founder of NCPD, an inventor of those amazing electric light dowsing rods, and the Paralite and Paralite Plus. Today I've got some great news about another invention of mine. But before I get to that, I want to tell you a little bit about the history behind my new invention. Now, I know you can have your Paralite and you put it in a location where you want to you know talk to the spirits and so forth now this is an EMF source here in my hand and you can put it on a table and try to get some interaction but you ever wondered is this enough coverage what about going down the hallway and you say that there are spirits that come back and forth in the hallway and and shadows and you want to detect them in a hallway well I've seen people put several ghost meters in a big matrix well we call it a ghost minefield where the idea is to get the coverage of trying to cover the entire hallway with sensors so if the spirit is on one side or the other you're gonna try to capture that but imagine there's gonna be at least 30 or maybe 40 of these ghost meters and I have seen it there, there are actually people in my group that do this there's a lot of time and money taken to, that you have to set up these, all the batteries, putting them away, and that got me thinking, there's got to be something better than this, than setting up a minefield. So what I've done is I've uh, collected all this input from people and I've created the tripwire. Now the tripwire is a 12 foot long cable and I'll be turning this on it's 12 feet long and has 10 independent microprocessor controlled EMF sensors that are spaced about 14 inches apart so there's 10 of these sensors on this one cable each sensor the base color and I'll be turning this on for you the base color is pink so that you can see the cable laid out on the floor or wherever you put it. And as the signal strength grows, it changes from pink and then it goes to blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Red is the highest, just like as we have in the Paralyte. To power this, I have a single battery pack that has three AA batteries that is used to power the entire cable. It is estimated that these will last 40 hours continuously turned on. And finally, to help carry this around, I have the traditional black carrying case with a uh, carabiner clip and it says tripwire on it and you get this entire 12 foot cable and its sensors right inside this bag. So what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the tripwire and areas around my house to show you what you can use it for and how it reacts to EMF. And in each one of these cases, I'm going to be waving in front of it an EMF source. That way you will see the colors changing and going up and coming back down. So let's turn off the lights and let's get to that. Okay, the first location that you probably want to put your tripwire at is down a hallway. And as you can see, I have it strung down. Now, the camera to your left or to your right is infrared. That shows what it looks like um, with infrared running. And the other camera is full color. So the, other, the full color camera is basically all black, except you can see the pink line coming down here. Now. I'm going to take my EMF source and I'm going to um, run it by the sensors so that you can see them turn on. Now, they turn on quickly, but when it comes to turning off, there's just a short delay allows your eyes to see the change in color so that you can, uh, oh, I got a tripwire hit. So let's just do that. Okay, I'm going to stand up and walk down. So here's my source here 
As you can see, I get closer to them and it changes the colors. Coming back down the hallway, and again, it goes red is the most intense, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then pink. So you see how those light up? And if that's not enough coverage for you, and you absolutely feel you need to have more coverage down a hallway, it could be a larger hallway. It could be a hallway at a, a hospital or something like that. Well, you get out your another trip wire, and let's just turn this guy on and lay him out next to the other one, okay? So now these lights will flicker as I'm handling them, but then they'll settle down. Okay, so here's this meter right next to it, the uh, second trip wire. Again, let's take the EMF source right here. We're going to run it down. Here we go. Okay, that's your first typical location. Let's find another one. All right, we're at another location in my house. It's a, a bedroom, but well, maybe you're in a hospital. Maybe you're at a, a, a prison and you're inside of a cell and you'd like to have some EMF coverage on that bed or bunk bed or what have you. You just take your trip wire, lay it out on top of it, and again, I've got my EMF source. I'm just gonna wave this over there quickly up and down and you can see the colors change again red is the highest and it goes back down to pink all right let's move on okay one of my more favorite applications for the tripwire is actually hanging it in a doorway how many times have you been to a location where people have said I've seen a black shadow run down the hallway and disappear into that room. Wouldn't you have liked to have had something draping the doorway that would alert you if something did break that EMF field? Again, I have my EMF source. There it is. So whether you're coming in from this side, that side, from the bottom, there you go. And I will be providing you Two of the removable, they're up at the top, two of the removable plastic hooks to get you started so that you can hang them over whatever you want. A doorway, a cell door to a prison, um, anything like that. Alright, the next idea is, let's say you've got a trigger object such as this bunny and you want to see if the uh, spirits are attracted to it. And you say, you tell the spirits, hey, come on over to the bunny and let's give it a big hug. And again, I've got my EMF source and you can see how their lights change. Okay, now you'll be able to play it back in slow motion and watch what side the spirits came from. Because it's sort of like a net around the trigger object telling you what side it came in. Okay, here we go. All right, moving on. A more obvious choice for using the tripwire is to cover the stairway. Now, I picked 12 feet and 14 inch centers for a, a reason, and this is it. This is typically the length of the stairways coming down, a typical stairway, and the distances between the steps is about 14 inches. That's why we have this configuration. So let's take out the EMF sensor again, or source, EMF source. Now when you're in a location and you hear somebody going, a spirit going up and down the stairway, you can put down your trip wire and see if you can pick that up. And if that's not enough coverage, let's just lay another one down right next to it. Turn that on. So there's our second trip wire. Now you got double the coverage. And again, you can see the lights change as the EMF signal strength increases 
as it gets near the signal or sensor. Alright, moving on. Well, I hope that the examples I have shown you has sparked your imagination and creativity as to how you could use Tripwire during your paranormal investigations. So, to learn more about Tripwire, please visit my website at ncpdohio.com. And if you'd like to purchase one, you can visit the ghosthunterstore.com or go to Amazon and search for Tripwire. So, as always, have fun and be safe on your next paranormal investigation.